Hello and welcome to the final edition of Jaguar News for the 2014-2015 school year. I'm Danielle Kiwis. And I'm Nancy Santos. Today we bring you our top eight stories of the school year, but first we start off the show with the story of seniors who sacrificed their mornings to go flying. Jaguar News reporter Amanda Salome spent the day with those seniors at Deer Valley Airport and documents the students' experience. Take a look. It was the best feeling in the world, you know, just having command over the aircraft, being over everybody. It's just amazing. It's just something that once you experience it, it's breathtaking. This is so much more than just a discovery flight or about aviation. They're literally getting a, a private pilot license at the end of this program. We have uh, a partnership with South Mountain High School and the district has uh, created this program which is just a terrific opportunity for these young students and so they're sponsored by, by the district and by the school and then we have the training relationship with the school district where we provide the actual flight training. Every time they take off they are dealing with, every, every time they get into an airplane they're dealing with mechanics, they're dealing with air traffic controls, they're dealing with other pilots. Um, and they're dealing with a whole range of people and it's developing social skills, developing um, knowledge, uh, knowledge of airspace, knowledge of the aerospace environment and it's giving them uh, incredible new horizons, quite literally, because we tell our students to look at the horizon. When you start flying an aircraft, you, you're doing it because you're passionate about, you know, having that feeling of freedom, being able to fly. And what I see with our instructors, and we have some pretty special instructors here, we have over 100 certified flight instructors at the school, that they see these, these, uh, these young students and, and giving them that passion and, and kind of, um, you know, really pouring into them. And I see that happening here, which is really wonderful. Without this training, I will not know how to fly. So this really helps me take the first step to the flying career. When you're underground, you see a lot of stuff happening, but it's pretty empty up there. And usually you just feel free. You just, if you just need a time off, if you just go fly. What I'm proud of is this program is so much more than, than flight. Uh, of course, the students are going to, to learn to become a pilot, to become a responsible, safe uh, private pilot. but the skill sets that they're going to gain from this uh, are, are so much more than that. Uh, what they're going to learn is about themselves, how to apply themselves and dedicate themselves to something that's uh, so much more than a normal high school class. Uh, it's about professionalism uh, and having a motivation and dedication to, uh, to see something through. And I think that a uh, student gains so much more perspective on, on themselves and applying themselves in a professional manner through flight training. I think it's just being able to get out of the local area. They fly around here all the time, so it would be nice for them to actually get a little bit further out and experience what it's like to fly a little bit further away. <laughs> I've basically watched each of them uh, for the last two years. Um, I had them in ground school uh, and obviously I've been overseeing their flight training and I've been very impressed with their application, their determination to master the subjects in front of them, to master the techniques that are required to fly an aeroplane in a safe and uh, responsible manner. They get to come and learn about aviation, all the, um, all the things that are available to them, and while they're here they get to be exposed to the, the environment that we have and how we operate. And so that's, uh, that's really, um, it's really just a, opening the door for them into a world that they might not even know about. They do a great job training us. They give us every single detail after we debrief, and I think that's a good um, step further to what we can do and perfect to get our pilot certification. A lot of people don't do this, actually. Um, it's just probably 1% of the whole entire population that actually can say that, oh, I've flown a plane, actually, or actually have gotten a pilot's license. And it, that's what makes it unique.
This year on Jaguar News, we covered community events, issues affecting our students, and student success at South Mountain. We put together what we thought to be the top eight stories of the year to begin the countdown here at number eight. The Charlie Hebdo story by Christopher Ray is focused on the tragic incident where 12 people were killed by Islamist terrorists. Charlie Hebdo was a satirical magazine that mocked the Islamic prophet, Muhammad, which angered Islamic extremists. Their tactics, their strategy. At number seven is the football story by Leilani Robinson. A lack of players keep clouding the chances of South's football team from winning a state title. However, hard work and dedication is what got our Jaguar football team pumped and excited week after week. After the break, we bring you a music review along with the continuation of our countdown. For the break, we were just transitioning into number six, which is a story about Armida Zepeda on Dreamer's ability to now obtain driver's licenses. But earlier this year that DACA or Dreamer individuals can now get their driver's licenses, this story affected some students here at South as it gave them the chance to open new doors. It means a lot actually. It means that I could get places without... At number five, Danielle Kiwis presented a story on how the garden here at South was being maintained. With the help of exceptional students, the gardening club accomplished their goals by harvesting vegetables and growing flowers. Nice, and you get to recycle and make the earth clean. Before continuing on with our countdown, here's Terry Hightower with music. What's your favorite song from this school year? Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran. I'm thinking about how people... Thinking Out Loud was written by Ed Sheeran and songwriter Amy Wedge. It was his first promotional single from his second debut album, X. The song entered the UK charts at number 26 and peaked number 1 in almost 20 weeks. It was released in Australia in August 2014 and then America in September 2014. It peaked number 2 on the Billboard Hot 100 and the Canadian Hot 100. So honey now. Um, from the school year, it'd probably be like uh, Tuesday by Drake or I don't know who, who it's from. Got the club going up. On the Tuesday. The song Tuesday is from the recording artist I Love McConan. It was released September 2014 and features recording artist Drake. Drake first made a remix of the original version and then McConan signed a recording contract with him. The song made national attention and had different rappers and singers such as Lil Wayne, The Game, Chris Brown, and Trey Songz doing remakes to the song. Always working on Uptown Funk by Bruno Mars. Uptown Funk you up. Uptown Funk you up. <laughs> right now, my favorite song is Trap Queen by Betty Wap. Trap Queen by Fetty Wap peaked number two on the Billboard Hot 100. Trap Queen received much of its attention through social media websites such as Twitter and Instagram. Kanye West went on stage introducing WAP and explained how Trap Queen was his favorite song at the time. There was then a video released of Beyonce and Jay-Z dancing to the song. He also had a chance to perform the song at the 2015 MTV Movie Awards along with Fall Out Boy. I'm Terry Hightower reporting for Jaguar News, giving you the last music segment of the year and wishing you a happy summer. After the break, we bring you the rest of the countdown along with sports.
got my yearbook. Can you sign it for me? Sure. Now we bring you number four, a story by social media reporter Christian Guzman. The story called I Wish My Teacher Knew was a touching topic that brought light to the fact that teachers don't know much about their students or what takes place outside the classroom. At number three is a story on Hour of Code by Amanda Salome. Students in Ms. Kina's class had the chance to talk to a Victoria's Secret model on computer coding. The question that I asked her was, um, before we bring you the top two stories, we toss it to the social media reporter with Christian Guzman. And then sports with Julie Gunther. Hashtag senior year in five words was trending all over Twitter. Graduating seniors expressed their year in just five words. Some were positive, and let's just say, some were not. From there, we asked South Mountain seniors to describe their year in five words using the hashtag SMHS five words. At Mario Dominguez tweeted, fun unforgettable moments that I will cherish. At Eileen to the side tweeted, May 20th, please hurry up. My name is Alize tweeted, can Jose Benacourt be bae? At Armina Z tweeted, when does the bell ring? Mitzi tweeted, are there still nachos today? And Nancy Melis OS tweeted, Is that Ms. Williams singing again? I'm social media reporter Christian Guzman for Jaguar News. Now we toss it to sports with Julie Gunther. This school year is coming to an end, as well as our school sports. The girls varsity basketball team made it to state this year and they played a tough and intense game against Arcadia. Winter sports soon ended and right after came spring sports. The boys and girls tennis team sent three players to state. The track and field team did not only qualify for state, but they came home as state champions. It was a feeling uh, I can't explain. It was just amazing. Oh wait, I'm a freshman. <gasps> I won champions. <laughs> so it's like it's like that, that that cheerful moment. We wouldn't have been able to do it without. I wouldn't have been able to do it without these girls pushing me in the four x four. Having seniors on the team, Shesh is one of my captains, Jasmine. Um, I'm going to miss her a lot and that this season was just absolutely amazing and one that I won't forget. As a captain, I'm so proud of my team. Um, I led them to a championship and I'm very proud of them. They made me so proud. They worked so hard. Um, they've been working since August and it paid off. We are today champions! And that's it for sports. Now back to you guys. And finally, for the number one story of the year, we chose the story of Jack Time by Armida Zepeda. This story announced the new schedule along with the introduction of Jack Time for the next school year. It's time to do homework in school. It's time to actually... That concludes this edition of Jaguar News. It's been a great four years being in this program. I'm glad to have been with you guys all these four years and it's been a memorable year. I couldn't picture high school without Jaguar News. I loved it. And it's been amazing to be a part of Jaguar News this year. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Kowski.
Oh, look at the lights faded out.